Sandwich Volume 3 The Ellie Kedward Tale What shall be revealed to us about the origins of the Blair Witch herself? Well, we do get some nice artwork on the loading screens. A bit cartoony. So. Is a monastery, church, library? Well, library at least. To Father Joshua Stone, Baltimore, Maryland, February 19, 1786. My dear friend and trusted advisor, regretfully, I must inform you that I shall not be returning to Baltimore in the spring. I cannot, in good conscience, return to my position as a shepherd to the faithful. How can I lead my flock when I myself have lost my way? Before I can ever preach again, I must rediscover my own faith. I have come to question the very nature of good and evil. I have seen bloodshed in the name of God and witnessed his children sowing the seeds of evil. I cannot escape my intuition that our good Christian faith blinds us to the greater evil that exists within our midst. Tomorrow, I travel to Blair Township. Doubtless you have heard of their recent demonic plight. I know not what manner of evil plagues Blair, but I go to find the true nature of God, and in the process, myself, your humble servant and eternal friend, Jonathan Pry. Um, shouldn't you put that quill in a inquirer on the table or something? I don't think you usually store those in your pocket. Oh, my good lady. Why are you running? Hey, wait. Yes, me, Jonathan Pry, a witch hunter. You may remember Doc Holiday uh, having an encounter with him across time in the first game, somehow. Yes. And so we have, <coughs> of course, weapons. A flintlock and a targeting thing is a pentagram. Mighty Christian of you. And then we have a cross, which reminds me of Something uh, the stranger found in that German castle. Who knows, maybe it is the same one. After all, this does take place in the 18th century. 1730s, specifically. Earlier I had, for some reason, deep thought that this was the 1740s, but... Oh well, not a terrible mistake. My good lady, where are your townspeople going? Out of Blair. It is the den of Satan. The witch feasts on our children. What witch? Explain yourself, woman. God help you if you go to Blair. Um, I think I already am in Blair. Did the shave and a haircut two bits thing exist in 1780? Hmm. Yeah, this looks like it might lead to a back door, but I guess not. Hey, cows. Say moo. No. Then take this. 
and this. The cows are immortal. It is the work of Satan. Um, what's this? Hmm. Ah, the tavern. I guess that sign says the tavern. Rather than have an individual name for it. Like Red Lion. Gentlemen, can you tell me please where are all the people going? It's the witch. Ellie Ked? Never speak her name, boy. Good sir, I implore you. What terrifies the people so? God has forsaken us into the arms of evil. Go back to where you came from, friend, before it's too late. Tell me, is there anyone in town? Anyone who can help me? I've come to fight the evil here. Sir, you are a fool if you stay here. But the town's magistrate, Jonah, and Father Goodfellow have stayed behind. Jonah is located in the courthouse, and Father Goodfellow is in the church. Ah, Father Goodfellow. He sounds like a good fellow. Hey. And the inn. <coughs> Which is also closed and locked. And I do like the design of the town. It's very atmospheric. I see a missing person poster, which is a photograph which did not exist at this point in time. I don't even think the gerotypes existed. Like something where the magic magist might meet people who need his judgments or a receptionist, maybe, or something. I'm not all that familiar about colonial. Right. Something it is. No, oh, this isn't the colonial times anymore. are shifting a bit too spastically for my taste. Hmm. Here you are. I okay. would welcome you, good sir, but I cannot imagine what your purpose would be in traveling here. Tell me, what is your name and what business do you have here? I am Jonathan Pry. I've heard stories, stories of an evil that plagues your town. I've come to offer my assistance. Pry? I've heard that name. A witch hunter. I have been known as such. Well, I will tell you this, witch hunter. Our town has indeed been vexed by unexplainable occurrences. Several of the town's children have disappeared, but we have no need for the interference of outsiders. Your children are disappearing. Your townsfolk are fleeing and speaking of witches and demons, and still you refuse my help? The people can be forgiven for jumping to a supernatural conclusion. They fear for the well-being of their children, but this is an official matter. I have two suspects in my custody now. I appreciate your offer, but your help is not needed here. The stories speak of a witch. Yes, we've sown the seeds of our own local legend with that one, I'm afraid. Tell me about her. Uh, nothing to tell, really. An old woman named Ellie Kedward was found guilty of practicing witchcraft. And in accordance with local laws, she was banished from the town. Banished? Yes, she was tied to a wheelbarrow, dragged into the woods and left for dead. The winters are harsh here. And no one could survive in the deep woods without shelter. 
especially an old woman. But how can you be sure? We have sent several search parties into the woods, both to look for the missing children and the remains of the witch. Neither has been found. But the children? What else could explain the disappearances? Most likely they've gone into hiding. After Ellie was banished, the children's imaginations began to run wild. But you mentioned suspects. Yes. I am awaiting the arrival of troops to escort two prisoners to Baltimore for trial. And one of them, a woman named Elizabeth Styler, is suspected of witchcraft. Do you think she is involved in the disappearances? I found her lying on the floor in the Kedward home. She was mumbling strange phrases. Around her were the remains of dead animals, arranged in a strange pattern. I arrested her for suspicion of practicing the black arts. Who is the other prisoner? Our town drunk, Hiram Heathtoe. We found him hiding in Smith's barn in town. He's always been a bit crazy, but now he insists that he was hiding from a witch or some other form of demonic being. We arrested him for stealing a chicken from one of the local farmers. Until the troops arrive, I will be conducting a more thorough investigation. I would like to question your prisoners, with your permission. Of course. You're a man who doesn't take no for an answer, witch hunter. I don't see any use in talking to a drunk and a delusional woman, but you may see them. But I warn you, witch hunter, do not interfere with my investigation. Here is the key to the jail. Mm, yeah. I assure you, my offer stands. I am at your service if there is anything I can do. If you truly believe that this is a matter of witchcraft, you might consider a visit to Coffin Rock. What is Coffin Rock? Coffin Rock has been the source of legend for generations. Some say from the time before this area was even settled by the white man. Most of the townsfolk whisper the name and would never venture there. But it seems to me that a witch hunter would be interested in a place like that. Perhaps after talking to your prisoners. Here is a map to Coffin Rock. It lies near the center of the forest. If you find anything that would be of use to me, report back here immediately. You should go to the church and speak with Father Goodfellow. He may have other information that may interest you. Mm, yes. Children running off by themselves and going into hiding somewhere in the middle of harsh winter is obviously no cause for concern. And I don't know how well it comes across in the video, but for whatever reason in this game People do not move their mouths while talking. Interestingly, when you, when we met Pry in the first game, he also did not move his mouth, so I guess people lost the ability to speak with their mouths closed sometime within the hundred years after this. Or actually more like eight years. And another anachronistic photograph. Hmm, there's some kind of writing in the background. Don't really make out anything except what's that? An O? A G? A zero maybe? Hmm. Map to Coffin Rock. Yeah, we'll be running around in the woods a fair bit in this game. Also, but they are much less labyrinthine than in the If you find game. anything that will be of use to me, report back here immediately. Another thing you might be wondering is whether we get to use this big honking gun on the wall. Well, that remains to be seen. Also, we have a lantern. Which... Hmm, Lights up the area quite nicely. It's a bit odd how he pulls it out with his right hand and then suddenly appears in his left. So, 
the journal is back. And we have objectives. And we have a town map and well not on map. Yeah, I will eventually get be mapping out the forest. The good fellow is here. So, hello, father. It appears my coat is possessed by an evil spirit as it moves and flutters even when there is no wind anywhere. Could you perform an exorcism on it? Good day, Father. I am Jonathan Pry. I've come to investigate the strange events that have plagued your town. Welcome, welcome, my son. I am Father Hale Goodfellow. A demonic evil has infested our once peaceful town. The people flee in terror. I have prayed that someone will be able to rid this place of her. God willing, you are that man. Her? Do you mean Ellie Kedward? Do you believe she's the Blair Witch? Oh, I am certain of it, my son. I discovered her diabolic way some time ago. And though Jonah finally banished her to the woods, I fear she has escaped and is now exacting her revenge upon the poor souls of this town. It was you who discovered that she practiced witchcraft? Tell me, father. Tell me what happened. She worked her evil charms on the children of Blair. One of these children, a young girl named Isabel Abel confided in me, and hence the witch was found out. What sort of evil charms? No one knows. The children said that she lured them to her house and drew their blood. It was on this basis that I accused her of witchcraft. What other reasonable explanation could there be? I reported my findings to the Magistrate, and she was found guilty. Strange behavior, to be sure. But what other evidence do you have of her witchcraft? It is the very children who accused her that have gone missing. In my mind, this means that the witch has survived her punishment, or worse, returned from the dead to seek her vengeance. Tell me what you know about the prisoners that Jonah has locked up in jail. Hiram is harmless enough. He is weak and drinks too much, and I believe that Jonah has him locked up for his own safety. The woman, Elizabeth Styler, is an entirely different story. She is in league with the devil, and her soul must be cleansed. It is for our own safety that I placed a ward on her cell, binding her from using her pagan magic. I cannot help but believe that she has conspired with the Kedwood Witch and is connected to the missing children. You are so convinced of your truth, Father. I wish I could be so sure. What troubles you, my son? You act as if you've lost your faith. I have. You must believe in yourself and in God. He has placed you here to test you, and it is only your faith that will allow you to succeed. Then pray for me, Father, for my faith has rotted. God has left me, and I abandon him in return. If you have lost your faith, why did you come here? I came here to discover or rediscover what I truly believe. But each passing moment leaves me more confused. Perhaps I should leave this place before I bring the wrath of God down upon us all. You will find your faith again, my son, and it shall be stronger than ever. You must believe that God has sent you on this great journey to help not only the children of Blair, but yourself as well. Yes, the children. There are things I must tell you. Strange things that I have witnessed firsthand. What kinds of things? Graves have been defiled, corpses missing. And one night as I walked home through the forest, I saw the undead roaming through the woods. At first I thought my eyes were failing me. I'm not as young as I used to be. But I ventured close enough 
to see them, disfigured and demon-eyed, and smell them. Oh, I tell you, my son, the smell was horrible. They chased me, and I feared for my life. It was a truly horrific experience. Could it have been a dream? I wish it had been, but it was real. And a few nights later, I began hearing a voice beckoning me. Now I realize it was the witch. The voice was strange, garbled, but at the same time, gentle and alluring. I found it impossible to resist and ventured into the woods. I don't know the woods well, and it was very dark. I was lost after only a few moments. It was then that the voice became threatening, demonic. It became obvious that it was the witch and that I was in the presence of the devil himself. That is a strange tale, father. <laughs> There are many things here that are strange. I pray that you will uncover the truth, my son, and spare our poor town from this blight. I will do what I can. Whatever truth lies in those woods, I will seek it out. Shades of Salem bear with accusations of children leading, leading to witchcraft convictions. And at least they didn't claim they burnt Elikid but alive. I pray that you will uncover the truth, my son, and spare our poor town from this blight. Now I said about loading screen art that it looked cartoony and for my taste it is distracting, distracting to at least how the character models are also a bit cartoonishly exaggerated. Now for the good fellow here, his head looks too big for his body and his waist looks too narrow. And Bry himself looks a bit too slender. I mean, look at those hips. Well, at least most of the time he's... Well, at least he's mostly covered by the coat. And here we have the back door, which just leads outside. <sighs> Listening to, to that story about Ellie Kedward, it seems to me like it would be an interesting spin on things if she was originally completely innocent and the children were just telling make-believe stories, but then after she was now convicted of witchcraft and left for dead in the woods. She was understandably bitter and near death and then... The evil presence in the woods came to her and she made an alliance with it. Also, a hanged person, or a hung person if you prefer, though this looks to be a woman. Well. You never know what's under the skirt. Um, well, we can't really do anything about that, and well, we didn't mention anything about. We didn't. Nothing was mentioned about her anyway. Anyway, here's the jail, and we'll talk to the prisoners within next time. And that. It's a nice effect with the steaming breath. This... This atmosphere is lovely.